Hey guys, welcome to my first ever how-to drawing video. Today, we're going to be drawing Towser from, from 101 Dalmatians. Now, if you don't know who Towser is, he is a hound dog, or I think he is a hound dog of some sort, I'm not really sure which. You guys can tell me in the comments below if you guys know what kind of breed he is. But anyway, he's a hound dog, I think, from um, 101 Dalmatians. And he's part of helping out the um, um, Colonel, helping out Colonel find the puppies. So we're going to start off by drawing his arms because his arms are very huge. So we're gonna draw his big, huge arms right here. And his, here are his paws. They're gonna look slightly old considering he's a very old hound dog he's not gonna look too much like so he's gonna have um, a little of a bulky sort of paw here I'm gonna have it look a little bit old and lumpy like because that's how he's supposed to look Okay, I'm going to draw half this thing off. Now I'm going to draw his little belly right here. His sinky, his skinny little belly. Here's his back. And his, I have a little picture of him right here. And here's his little his foot. Now his foot's going to be tucked in by his um, little leg here. It's going to be tucked in a little bit. So don't worry if you don't get it right. It's going to be tucked in a little bit because he's a little lumpy. So he's going to have his paw a little tucked in. Be sure you get that in a little bit. And draw a little little um gonna draw half of his paw right here make sure you make his paw a little slanted so it looks like he's standing on his paws And draw half his body, his half his belly back in. I'm going to go in and draw his big giant muzzle here. He has giant muzzles that come off his big giant um, cheeks. So he's going to have big giant muzzle. Some of it hanging down a little bit. But don't make it hang too much because we got a lot of other stuff going on around him. So we're going to go in and... So here's his big chin right here, his big muzzle. Then we're gonna come in and put straight up like this, like a big giant um, rectangle-like. It kinda looks like a cone head right about now, but that's not what it's gonna look like later on. It's just that his head is going to be smaller than his like little stripe right here. So this is going to have a little bit of a 
a cone head right here. So then his eyes are going to go right here. His eyes. Actually, let's start out with his ears, which are going to be slant. Actually, no. Sorry. Make his body a little bit bigger. Draw on his shoulder a little bit like this. Draw on his paw like this, make sure it gets curved. We're going to curve in, make it look like a triangle coming in. We're going to go all the way up to his arm. I'm going to make it a little bigger because he's an old dog. He's going to have big giant arms. We're gonna make enough sure we have enough room for his his um his spot, which is gonna be coming in at the same area of his paw. So we're gonna go and curve in a little bit. All the way up because he looks a little bony, so you're gonna show, his bones are showing a little bit. He's kind of, he's kind of shows that he's lost a little bit of weight. And then we're gonna go in, show his chest a little bit. And they're gonna go down here and show his tail a little bit. Now we're gonna go in and do his eyes. So, his eyes are going to be like, this is going to be his eye socket, so it's going to come in. Now, I know it looks a little funny right now, but his ears are going to be right here. So, once you see it, it's not going to look so weird later on. So, we're going to go in, tuck in this little circle, these little two ovals right here. Draw in his ears. I'm gonna make his eyes a little bit smaller, so. I'm gonna draw half of his little cheekbones right here to show. So make sure I get his eyes in correctly. Now instead of his nose being on the side, it's going to be in the middle. So it's going to be a little bit hunched over. Like this. So he has a big giant nose because he's a sniff, because I think he sniffs a little bit. Show a little glare here. Then 
we're going to bring his ear down here like this. Coin leg come down right here. Now, Towser is known to, when he hears something, he picks up his ear or his friend Lucy the Goose will pick it up for him. Either way, it's the same old way. He just brings it up. Now we're going to go in and do his eyes. His eyes are going to be a little bit closed a little bit because he's an old dog. So his eyes are going to look a little bit tired some. So here's his eyelids. He's going to come in like that. Then his eyes are going to come in like this. Draw a little circle like that. Now do the same right here, only his eye is going to be half shown. So we're going to go in same way, only only half. And you're going to have him look. You can move up this his eyes a little bit more. So like I said, he's going to have a little bit of a Can have him look to one side. Darken those eyes in. His eyes don't look so perfect yet, but don't worry. It's going to all come together in the end. going to poke out his cheek a little bit more. Make a half circle here so you can still see his ear covered up by his eye a little bit more. So this is going to have a little stripe here. I'm not going to show much of it because his eyebrows are a little too big so we're going to Half circle again, curl out his eyelid a little bit. They're gonna go and make his eyes look like he's looking somewhere. He's turning from the side. Usually when you see Towser, his head is always looking to the side. He's always looking to like, then he's going like looking to talk to his friend, the goose, Lucy, so gonna make him look like he's looking right at her in a way. Okay, and those are his ears. Now we're gonna go in and do all of his, his um, spots. So his spots are gonna look something like this, a little bit, unlike the Dalmatian spots, he has big giant spots like this that kind of look, kind of shaped it. So he's gonna have spots like this, all bulky and kind of rounded, bump, lumpy spots. He has one on his leg too as well. And those are his spots right there. We're gonna go in and do his one spot right here. It's all tucked in so you can't see it too well. Now we're gonna go in and do his hangover collar. His collar is not that small, not too big either. So his collar is gonna go hanging below him like this, instead of like going over. So it's gonna hang over like this. You can curve in a little bit to show that it's hanging down a little bit. Because his neck is a bit small, so it's going to kind of hang over his little skinny neck here. It's 
going to drop off a little bit. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to, um, I'm just gonna fix his ear real quick because it's not long enough. I'm gonna draw his ear a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to draw a little smile right here because this is what he looks like when he's smiling. This is like his big moment here. He's going to smile because this is a big chance to tell the colonel that the puppies are missing. So he feels delighted to do so. I'm going to draw his foot right here in the back. Then we're going to draw his big giant foot right here. Be sure to go slow because his um, foot is tucked in, so we don't want to show too much of it. And make sure we don't screw it up. As my art teacher would say, think small. So very small looks. Trying to be doing the lines like this. Curl it up. Little S curves here. we're going to put his foot right here instead so it looks much easier to do it's going to be tucked in so it's gonna hold on a minute okay. since his we have three we're going to do three as well right here so we're going to curl that up a little bit then Bump it up a little bit right here. He's lumpy anyway, so that's gonna be a perfect look for him. And then we're gonna draw his tail. His tail is very small and is tucked in usually, so let me find a perfect view of his tail a little bit. Now his tail is gonna look down like this, away from him. Actually, we're going to have a little S curve here, a little S curve. I'm going to tuck that in because his tail is going to be a little bit lumpy here. So it's going to come in. Gonna also curve it because it kind of looks like it's kind of being tucked in on to the side. Now his tail is not too big either, but we still gotta keep it skinny as well since everything else on him is very skinny. So that's the way to curl him up. And that's Towser. So we got every all of his body proportions settled in. Now we can go in and darken his nose a little bit. He has a little reflection in his glare. Unlike other dogs, he has a gray glare. So instead of making it white, we're going to darken it in gray later on. So for now, we're going to darken his nose black right here.
darken his nose a little bit. There we go. Now you got that all done. We're going, I'm going to go in and use a Sharpie because the Sharpie is, sorry, is going, I got to pick that up later. But anyway, the Sharpie is going to help us show all of his lines at where he needs to be. So we're just gonna go in lightly and draw all of his lines. We're gonna curl up right here, show his collar hanging down a little bit. Just gonna go in with the Sharpie and darken everything in. Make sure you get his belly everywhere, just so. And you guys don't have to color him if you don't want to, but I think I'm gonna color him in because I like to. I think his coloring's gonna look nice if I color him in, so. Trace in all his spots. Make sure they show up. There's his tail, and now here is his ear. It's being tucked in a little bit, so we're going to trace in his ear a little bit. Make him smile right there. Now we're gonna draw in his eyes. Now be very careful to like I'm gonna draw in a little neck right here. There are his eyes. So I'm gonna draw his little belly in a little bit. Make sure you get all the lines that you drew in, which I think I got already. There we go. So we're going to darken and darken his nose. We're going to go and color in. And you guys don't have to color you don't want to, but I choose to color because I think it's fun to color the characters as well as it is to, to draw them as well. So I'm going to go color them soon. Now we're going to go in and color him. Now, Towser has a tannish skin, so he's going to have tannish skin. Go in and draw him tan because usually the tannish type of color, but it's kind of hard to tell because you see him in the nighttime in the cartoon, so his body is very fainted, so you can't really see it too well. But I assume that he's tan.
I'm gonna draw a long uh, thing to show that his um, his foot is being tucked in. It just kind of looks a little bit weird without it, so I'm gonna make it look like it's tucked in. Now you can use crayons or color pencils, anything you like to color him. going to go in the lighter brown with his face but for now we're going to go with his darker stuff like his spots so we're going to go in do his spots that are very brown so very dark brown spots Draw, you're going to color in his tail. Color in his spots. Now I made a little mistake on his collar. We can go ahead and fix that later. all his brown spots. Now we're going to draw his ears the same color as well because his ears are mostly dark-esque but also very brown. So those are his spots and his ears. He's much clearer than this one, so he's much more looking. So we're gonna go in, color his eyes, which are tan-ish. Go in, color in his collar. And also color in his nose, which is black. which is all 
like unlike his body it's like a less color of a tan so it's like less of a color it's more lighter to see so it has more of a peachy color now Towser is one of my favorite um ensemble characters of Wonder Domations. He doesn't do much in the movie. He kind of just tells where the puppies are, but he kind of made me laugh a few times, and his appearance is likable. So if you ever do get to notice him in the movie, please do, because he's a really cool character. Now, I kind of made him a little bit more dimensional and more clear to see than other dogs, so if you see him, he's more darker look to him so I'm gonna have him look like this now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to make his ears a bit darker let me give it a more darker brown actually don't have a darker brown so I think he's just gonna stay like that besides I think most of his um ears are supposed to be dark so half of his look kind of looks the same color only his um his face kind of looks the same now again he kind of has his body showing towards the end towards at night so you don't really see too much of his body too much so all you guys do now is sign it and this is my rendition of towser so if you guys want to see more characters more disney characters tell your thoughts in the comments below and um and I'll see you next time. Towser right here is my first. And um, be sure to keep a lookout for him in Hunter Animations because I think he's a really awesome character. And tell me your thoughts comments below. I might want to do his friend, Lucy, eventually. So tell me your thoughts comments below and tell me if you want to do more of this next time. And I'll see you next time.